Do you know about Warli paintings? Do you know about the significance of those paintings? Or do you know where they originated? Well, it's about time we found out. India is a country full of diversity. There are numerous religions, festivals, art forms, etc. One of the art hailing from Maharashtra in India that is unique in its own creative way is Warli painting. Today, Superfat Studio brings to you a detailed take on story and background of Warli paintings. Let's begin with what is Warli painting. Warli paintings are well known in the state of Maharashtra. The Warli tribe who are famous for these paintings reside on the outskirts of Mumbai district that encompasses cities such as Dahanu, Talasari, Jawhar, Palgar and Vikramgad of Palgar district. Warli paintings are distinctive with their vivid contrast expressions. The painting is made on red mud wall with white paint and this white paint is made from grounding rice into a white powder. These paintings are mainly dominated by basic geometric shapes like circles, triangles and squares. These geometric shapes stand as a symbol of natural elements in our environment. For example, the circles represent the sun and the moon, the triangles represent the mountains and the squares are considered as the central motifs of the painting. The tradition of Warli painting in Maharashtra are among the finest example of the folk style of paintings. Jivya Soma and Balu Mashe, the artists in Thane district have played a great role in making the Warli paintings more popular. The Warli tribe is one of the largest in India located outside of Mumbai. Despite being close to one of the largest cities in India, the Warlis reject much of contemporary culture. Let's move ahead to the background of Warli painting. Warli art was actually the only medium of expression for the Warli tribes before. With almost no literacy, there weren't any written texts to transmit the folklore to future generations. They use vivid paintings on huge walls to narrate stories of the daily or social life of the Warli tribe. Warli art does not depict any mythological legends through their paintings, but they embellish their walls with beautiful pictures of the daily societal behaviors of the tribe in their natural habitats such as farming, a celebration of marriage, fishing and such. The style of Warli painting was not recognized until 1970s even though the tribal style of art is thought to date back as early as 10th century AD. The Warli culture is centered on the concept of mother nature, farming is their main way of life and a large source of food for the tribe. They greatly respect nature and wildlife for the resources that they provide. Warli artists use their clay huts as the backdrop for their paintings, similar to how ancient people used cave walls as their canvases. The painting series centralizes around activities like dancing, fishing, farming, human shapes, wildlife, ceremonies, festivals, etc. They are beautifully drawn on the inner walls of the hut. In every painting, the special tarpa dance always finds a place. It is needless to say that tarpa dance is the center point of attraction. And that brings us to the conclusion. Warli paintings are a source of knowledge as they help to understand the traditional and tribal lifestyle. It is altogether a different art and hence the need of the art is to preserve this artistic jewel. Several initiatives have been taken and currently it is been registered under the Intellectual Property Rights Act. It can be rightly said, these paintings are an asset in the world of art and such is the beauty and uniqueness of this art form that if done right, can catapult it to global fame.